It's... It's a ruin. Hello? Is anybody here? <laughs> the head horn had collected had a laugh that sounded like a stone being choked to death. <laughs> what is it you find so funny? There's no one here to respond to your cries, boy. There's no one anywhere. At least no one who looks like you. <laughs> Aunt Belle was somewhat unsettled by the fact that Horn was talking to an inanimate object and that it was talking back. What? What is that? It's a pygon head. What are you called? I will not say my name to a pink, rubbery grotesque. Fine. You look like a gourd to me. I will call you Gord. You will do no such thing. Horn was startled to understand the nature of the Pygon curse. I believe this is a Pygon form of a living being. Maybe a person like us. How many people have been turned to... to Pygon? <laughs> oh. Was Gord really trying to tell them that every living creature in Reigns had become a Pygon? A golem of stone and metal with no trace of humanity? That's impossible! Oh, it took a long time to remove the curse of flesh from every abhorrent creature in the land. A very long time indeed. And it pains me to see that both of you have fallen prey to that curse yet again. The good news is, you can be fixed, your true form restored. Horn, having heard his fill of Gord's gibberish, hung the unpleasant head from his belt, so that he could have a look around the ruins he once called home. Enough of your nonsense. I will undo the Pygon curse, and you will help me. And why would I help you? Because if you do not, I will find a deep, dark hole and chuck you in it, where no one will ever find you. You're no use to me. Why wouldn't I? Very well. Your goal is to find the true source of Pygon power. As it happens, that source is the very thing that can give me a new body. So, I will help you find it, you red blob of water, because you are the only thing that can help me. Apparently, I am. This? I don't know. Let's ignore it. How do I enter? You cannot without sufficient Pygon power. And how do I acquire this power? We use this power for our work and store it in relics we call seeds. And I will seek these seeds. But Gord, Mother help you if you are lying to me. I've no use for the Mother or her help. You wanted my counsel and I've given it. Do as you will, but please put me down somewhere safe. Oh no. Until my quest is done, where I go, you go. Hmm. If I'm going out to face danger, I'm going to need a better weapon than this rusted old sword.
Horn realized what he was looking at. This... This was the smithy. It's ruined. It's a mess, but this equipment looks like it might still work. Gould could sense the thoughts of his captors and found it a grand jest. Ha 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 ha. What are you laughing about? I suppose you plan to forge the greatest sword the world has ever known, worthy of a true hero. The mightiest human sword is as inconvenient to a pygon as a fogging leaf. Horn thought back. The strange shard he'd found had been the key to undoing the pygon curse on Aunt Bell. What is this? It is the source of pygon power, our strength made manifest. It is pygite crystal. Pygite? It flows through every pygon, making us immune to your silly tin toys. Horn had an idea, though he knew it would be the ultimate test of his skills as a blacksmith. I'm going to need firewood and clean water, Aunt Bell. <laughs> this ought to be good for a laugh. Horn chopped and hammered and blazed through the night. He shattered the crystal into a fine powder, folding it into molten steel, reworking the blade he had found into something Gord did not find funny. Throw that thing into the river, I beg you! Why, Horn, it's Highgate steel! If I'm correct, I can use this forge to create weapons that can undo the curse on any Pygon I meet. Wonderful, Horn. I shall gather up what apothecary supplies I can and bring them here. You'll need to heal, too. Good salt as Horn admired his heavy work. Now Horn had everything he needed to set forth on his quest to find the Pygon seeds that would unlock the seal and reveal the path forward.
pains me to see this place empty. I must bring back its people. It looks to be in fine fellow to me. Abandoned and rotting. What more could you ask of a human town?
You Pygon have ruined our world. If you keep your opinions to yourself, I shall endeavor to do the same. No, you won't. I might decide to start. I am unpredictable. To throw that seed away. It is a silly thing. I need them to break that seal. That's what you said. Did I? I changed my mind. You shouldn't collect any more seeds. I'll gather them all if it bothers you that much. <laughs> 